Hey everyone, today I will share with you another digital notes tutorial, but this time it will focus on templates for studying like a compilation of formulas or terms and a chapter summary notes template. And stay tuned until the end because I will share with you how you can have the free templates. And yes, let's get right into the video. For the first step, of course, we have to open Microsoft Word and we have to make some adjustments to the page layout. This depends on the paper you will be using, but I will do this templates on a letter size paper. So choose the narrow margins option to save space and you can also choose the orientation and column layout you want. So now let's make a formula notes template. At the top, you can add the name of your lesson or the main topic. Then just modify the text. So I change here the font style, size, and color. I then decided to include a shape. So this one is optional. And then modify it. So here I searched for a color palette beforehand. And you can search for one from colorhunt.com. Copy the color code and paste it here to the shape fill color in Microsoft Word. After modifying the elements, add a text box to the document. You can add more information here like the topic subtitle or the unit and lesson number and the date you created this notes. Then just modify the text. And here add a text box for the formulas area and you can place the title or name of that specific formula. Then I decided to add another shape and in here you can add the formula. So I'm adding a bunch of shapes to give more color and so it will not be too overwhelming if the only ones you see are numbers and texts. I just added another shape to serve as the shadow then adjusted the shape fill. Then under the box you can add another text box and paste the given or the variables in that equation. And you can then add another group of shapes and in here you can add some brief explanation of that specific formula. Again, this depends on you. You can delete this or leave it as it is once you're gonna use this template. For the equations and the given, you don't really need to do it digitally. You can write them down while studying so it will be like an additional way to retain the formulas in your brain. To add text to the shape, right click on it and click on alt text or you can double click on the shape. So once you're done doing the first group, you can duplicate the elements by highlighting them like the text boxes and shapes. Then you can paste them side by side to maximize the space on the paper. And here is the result of the first notes template we created. Again, you can use another color scheme that you want. Colorhunt.com have a variety of color palette that you can apply to your notes. And now let's proceed to the second notes template we'll be creating. This includes information about a specific term. Basically, you will add the term as the title. You will supply the definitions, characteristics, or classifications some photos or examples depending on the information you need to study for your exams. And here, I first added some designs for the template so they will not be too plain and I just added this squiggly shapes. So just choose a curve option on the shapes group and just do some irregular or random shapes. Again, the designs and the creative stuff on your notes depend on your preferences, whether you will add some designs or not. And going back here, I just added a solid shape and overlaid it with a shape outline. After adding the designs, you can now proceed with your notes. First is to add a text box and place here the term you will be making notes. Then here I added a shape, but I make the fill transparent and added an outline color. You can then add a text and name it based on the information you will be adding in that specific box. 
and here I first added the word definitions and just modified the text. Next is to duplicate the shape and arrange it based on your preference or the space a particular box will occupy. You can also play with different free symbols from the internet, like a copy and paste flower symbol, so it depends on you. Here, I just decided to place it as an additional design on both sides of the term. Another way is to compress the boxes, or if you only need a little information to add, you can add two terms on one page. And for the last template will be a chapter summary template. So I just added some shapes in here and this is pretty self-explanatory. I will also include this as a free template for you to use it. So if you will be using the template and want to include text on the shapes, just paste it and use the merge formatting option or keep text only when pasting. This will allow you to use the same style formatting and so it will automatically apply the same styles. And you can add information or your notes to the template without editing a lot of stuff and adding some design. You can also modify the boxes you need to adjust so the notes or information you will add will fit. And yes, those are the templates I created and will also share with you for free so that it will help you for school and for your studies. So if you want to have a copy of the template, I will be adding the Google Drive folder where you can download it. However, if you downloaded the file and the text fonts are different from the template I created, you need first to download the fonts that I use if you want to have the exact copy. I will be adding more instructions below in the description box and if you want to create or modify the template instead, then you can use the fonts that are already on your Microsoft Word. And you can also set the file into a template in MS Word. I will just leave a link below on how you can do that. And yes, that is all. Thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next video. Bye guys!